All right. Should we do this, Mr. Sims? I think, guys, we're going to skip this question. Mr. Sims, I just had a, a discussion off camera. So, good news. Skip. All right. Oh, Lewis. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Yes, All right. Mr. Clark. No, no, no. Gilbert. We got back to Gilbert finally. How do you do Lewis structures? All right. There's the octet rule. You need to copy these rules down. If you've done Lewis structures before, you can. Uh, so pause the video and copy these things down. And now we're going to do a bunch of examples. All right. So how do I draw a Lewis structure? Now, these we're talking now only about Lewis structures of covalent compounds. So um, let's do a, a molecule like, say, SO2. All right, the first thing you do is you count the total number of valence electrons. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something, did we talk about how they know how many valence electrons there uh, are? Let's throw a periodic table on there and show them. I think we probably should do that. So if we have a periodic table here, the number of Lewis, uh, or the number of valence electrons, column one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if you have a periodic table out, you should get it out. And we don't really mess with these guys in the middle. No. Uh, and we're talking about covalent compounds. So essentially, we're only talking about the elements in this box here. I didn't draw a very good box, plus hydrogen. So, uh, yeah. So let's go back to our example of SO2. For SO2, sulfur, if you look here, he is in column, uh, the sixth one. So he gets six, and so is oxygen, by the way. Yep. So we, they're going to have um, six plus two times six or six times three, 18. 18 electrons. So you always start with your central atom, which is the S in this case. And usually that's the element that's written first. That's the one that goes yeah. in the middle. And so you go two, four, and then, and, oh, and bonds, which we said in the rules, bonds count as two electrons, and double bonds count as four. So we're gonna distribute the electrons so that everybody gets eight electrons. So I've spent four of my 18, so four, Six. Oh, pardon me. I don't want to do that. You do the last that first. Yeah. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And then two in the middle. Yeah, I need to spend two more so they go in the middle. Yeah. Now, you do the outside ones first, and then you put your extras in the middle. Now, the problem with this picture, of course, is that everybody has eight, right? Mm, sulfur doesn't have eight. Sulfur only has six. So to fix this problem, I have to erase two from one of the oxygens. It doesn't matter which. And I make a double bond. Yep. Yeah. So that is the correct Lewis structure of SO2. All right, let's do, um, let's do an ion. Let's say NO3, negative one. Now if you look back at the chart, nitrogen gets five, right? So we'll put five for nitrogen plus three times six for oxygen. Now, what do you do with that extra ele that extra charge, Mr. Sanders? Uh, it's a negative charge, so we get an extra electron to work so with. So negative charges have extra electrons. Positive would be less electrons. So 18, 19, I think that's 24 electrons. Yeah, it is. And so if I draw the Lewis structure of this, I'll do N, and I'll put my O's around it. And I'll say 2, 4, 6. And then 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 20, 22, 24. Nitrogen is still unhappy. Nitrogen is still unhappy. So I have to erase two electrons arbitrarily from this bottom left-hand corner one and make a double bond. Now I've just redistributed the electrons. Now because it's an ion, I do have to put brackets around it. I have to put a charge of negative one right there. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have a charge, you don't have to put the brackets, but you do in this case. All right, how about we do another one? Should we do a big hairy one where it goes over the... That's later on, actually, when okay. we do exceptions. Okay. Um, Let's do... Um, how about... Uh, how about... Um, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. All right, carbon gets four electrons, plus oxygen gets two times six. So that's uh, 12 and four is 16. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have carbon, oxygen, oxygen. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it works out perfect. Not really. The carbon's unhappy, so what mm -hmm. do I do? Steal two. Steal two. Is carbon happy? Nope. No, so I steal two more. Now, technically, I could have taken them both from one and made mm -hmm. a triple bond, but you try to distribute it as much as possible yeah. um, with some exceptions that we'll learn about later. Okay? So you're going to draw so many Lewis structures, you're going to get sick of them. Yes. I will. Ad nauseum. Now, that always assumes that you want eight. Yeah. There are what we call exceptions mm -hmm. to the octet rule. And so, yeah, basically, we follow the same set of rules. We just have a few exceptions. Yes. So why don't we do PCL5? Ooh, that's a good one. 
All right, let's do PCl. So P is 5, plus chlorine is 7s, so it'd be 5 times 7. So that's 40, right? Yep. So if I've got P and Cl, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. First of all, I've already spent 10 electrons. That's over the 8 number, isn't it? Yep. So that, that's just it. It's that's okay. That's the only place you can put them. So You've got, yeah. Good. So we spent 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. All well, the chlorines look happy. They all have eight. And everyone's happy except for the P, and he just, there's no way to make it work. So no. he's considered an exception to the yes. octet. And P can go over. Actually, anything in the third period or below can actually go over the octet rule. Yeah, so basically, guys from here on out, and really it's these guys. Uh, pardon me, here, these guys can go over. Um, P boron and carbon and nitrogen, they cannot go over. Nope. Do they need to know why? Um, later on, I think we'll talk about okay. why. Yeah, that's a good point. We, yeah, we, we do, yeah, it's later. All right, let's do another one. Let's do, um, yeah, let's do ICL4 negative. There's a wild one. Mm. ICL4 with a negative one charge. Just Iodine. An ion I don't want to encounter. I don't think so either. Uh, iodine has seven. Yeah. Plus there are four chlorines, and that's uh, seven. Seven. Plus we get one more bonus because of the extra electrons. Yep. So seven to thirty-five is that thirty-six? Thirty-six. I got thirty-six electrons to spin. So the central atom will be iodine, and I've got four chlorines. So two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Oh, that's something else. Eight. Mr. Sam, Mr. Ten. Sam, Mr. Twelve. Sam. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. I got four more. Don't you got to stick them in the middle. 33, 34, 35, 36. And since it's an I, we put a bracket around and we put a charge. negative one charge in this case. Now, how many electrons are in each chlorine? Uh, eight. Eight, eight. eight. So they're happy. Iodine, though, has 12. 12. And that's okay. Yeah. So it's an exception to the octet rule. Yep. Okay? So, folks, that's how we do this. A lot of, lot of procedural stuff on this particular podcast. I think you just need to, you're going to get lots of practice in class and in your homework and da-da-da. So uh, keep working, and we will help you later. Have happy days. Bye. Bye.